today I'm going to be doing a nerf combos on the um, Rapid Strike CSA team. Uh, first, I'm actually going to go over the blaster and um, see like um, things that are good about it. And they do the other things that are a little bit bad. The first thing, this comes with a built-in scope, and it also comes with an extending stock. Well, it only has two sections, either in or out. Um, I personally like it out or whatever, however you like to have it. I mean, it does have it in if I'm going. Like, you can be like, and you just kind of hold it, but I'm going to keep it down for this video. And so, as if I'm still going over the best things about this blaster. Um, otherwise, uh, it has the, um, of, uh, iron, um, iron sight, which flips up and down. I personally like to have it up. Um, it kind of matches the, uh, built-in scope. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it matches the built-in scope and it lines up really good. Um, uh, how many tactical rails? It has five, one, two, three, four, and five on the bottom for, um, aim strike attachments. Now... Um, my module is group is somewhere around my room. Uh, another reason why is because we did a uh, video today, plush idol, um, with the, um... And we totally wrecked the room. Yeah. So now we so, can't find it. So we, we're just going to use, uh, this grip for today's video. Of course, we only need one. I'm just going to pretend there's another grip there. Um, this is just for the Retaliator XD. Anyways, um, it has a see-through access door. Otherwise, well, so just in case your gun gets a jam. Um, it's very, you can actually fit your whole finger through it. Um, this one actually doesn't click into place. It just slides. It just slides into place. And once you hear that little click, you know you're good to go. Anyways, um, my blaster is a little bit older, so it probably won't have as good as performance as some of them. Uh, mine's a 2012. I got it right when it came out. Um, otherwise, uh, it has an in-strike attachment, so you can put up oh, line stuff. You can put barrel attachments, like uh, any Instrike Elite barrel, uh, right here on the front here. And um, if you guys didn't notice, um, before we start getting into the comments video, if you look at a strife and you look at the front of this little piece right here, they look very similar. So I always think of like the strife as a a miniature version of the rapid strike. Okay, it's first combo. So anyways, guys, we just loaded it out. And by the way, these aren't all the attachments that you can get with like the long shot and everything. Uh, these are just a couple attachments that I had. Um, excuse me. Uh, let me just slide this over here because I can see it on the camera. I'm going to go over what um, this has to, what, what it has on it. This has a 25 dart drum. Enough for uh, um, getting close on your enemies and, you know, just, just kind of like spraying them and stuff. Um, otherwise, on the side here, it has a four dart carrier. I don't know why. Um, because obviously I would be carrying one of these dudes in my pocket, which comes with it, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I'd be carrying one of those with all, but I just have extra four shots. I don't know because it actually looks pretty sweet. This is all. So this one, even though it comes with a built-in scope, which is obviously right here. Um, it would go through here and stuff. And so, I mean, there's a lot of sights on this blaster. It's probably about three. Um, there's a scope on here, so it's like double. Um, mainly I like to use this one. I don't know why I do. I just do. Um, there's a lot of sights. Um, mainly you have kind of like one here. Well, it's not really a sight. It's more of like a scope. But we have two sights. Now, Nerf Boy Productions, I know I'm going to like mention you a lot in this video. But um, as he said on his uh, like review of this, you have to actually flip this down. And so just depending on which sight you want to use, use that sight. So, um, this is my personal combination. We will get more, um, uh, stuff later in the future. But anyways, let's go to the next clip, Ryan. So, and this is, next is the indoor person. This is a pretty darn long electric gun. Um, this is the guy who really likes to play indoor and not outside for some reason. Because outside is grass. Who wants grass when you can actually play on hardwood and carpet? Well, Anyways, uh, I'll do that. Okay. Anyways, uh, what this gun comes with is an uh, uh, 18 dart clip. Well, it doesn't come with it. Well, actually, it does come with it. I'm just putting it on this thing. Of course. But, anyways, over here we have this short little barrel to, of course, uh, take away the range and uh, increase accuracy. It doesn't take away all the, the range in the world because it's so tiny and small. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, it doesn't do much. Well, I mean, it's just good for, you know, quick turning. And my personally, if I was an indoor nerf war, I wouldn't use this. I'd probably use 
like the strong arm or a retaliator with just a stock. I mean, I don't know. But if you're just a thick guy who really wants to do this, you can. Um, here is a here's the Michael West scope. Uh, of course, the only scope that I have because I've been collecting for very long. But we're um, we're really trying to get more attachments as we go. Um, so I am getting a stretch this weekend. Uh, next week, sorry, there's a little announcement for you guys. So we're new unboxing of that. Um, on it, like I said, it has the oh, uh, yeah 18 dart and then the scope, four dart holder. In case you need any extras, which you probably won't, and the ion fire barrel. Um. And I think you should have this in if you're indoor playing. I mean, you can still have it in your shoulder, and you're just still... I mean, it actually turns cor corners quicker since it's, it makes it a couple of inches smaller. All right, Ryan, next clip. Next is sniper status. Now, this guy, we don't have a bipod yet. Oh, of course, not because I haven't been collecting for very long. But uh, I'll tell you my nerf story in another video. Um, This is like the longest barrel. Yeah, still a little bit floppy. Um, we have a modular bear extension with a, uh, excuse me, not recon, uh, retaliator XD barrel extension. Um, a, a scope, of course, a uh, six round meg, and the longest stock that you could probably get. No, not really. So then you're like, oh yeah, out of that six, put on the floor, like freaking, you know, James Bond or whatever, you know, just skills for kills right now. Uh, then you insert another six meg, sort of, uh, sorry about that. Bales. Okay, anyways. Insert that other six mag and you got another six darts. See, zero snipers use nothing but six darts unless you modify a four clip, which not many people do when you're for a normal nerf. Like, like, I mean, if you're a noob and you, you all you do is play Call of Duty and you just got your rapid strike and you're like, I spent $40 on a piece of crap. Well, you're going to end up getting something like this. Uh, I mean, you won't get, obviously, any more extension because it's going to be a herd blaster. But if your friend gives you some... You probably end up looking like this. And a starter, noobs, nerf snipers, Call of Duty people don't do very good. I mean, I'm not saying if you play Call of Duty, you're bad or you're like really terrible at nerf. I mean, you can play Call of Duty and still be a good nerf, like probably every nerfer out there that knows basketball. Anyways, uh, see, like, I don't understand why would you be a sniper. Like, electric snipers? A machine gun sniper. See, this I don't understand. But if it's your choice, I mean, you sniper supposed to be very quiet to snipe people, of course, um, to attack out of the blue. And now uh, this gun's not quiet. Uh, just sound, sound demonstration. Right. Let's with this. Ah! Let's hit it with a retaliator barrel. That's how you do it. Better, better go away. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, so as I was saying, I had a lot of fails in this video. Especially inserting that six mag. Anyways, the six magazine. Anyways, it's all good now. As you can see, the gun's not very quiet like most snipers. Here's a sound demonstration. Ryan, don't shoot me. Okay, anyway, here we go. See the little sound demonstration. So obviously, if you're sniping and you're like heading in a bush with your bipod, of course, I don't have one yet. And you camo can... and camo armor. Or uh, whatever um, camo gear. So you're like, and see, like you're what you expect no one to see you, right? And there's like out there, you really want to kill because he's like, you know, whatever, too many times killed you too many times, and you're gonna go, and you start going, and you're just gonna, you're just gonna get killed after you hear that little flywheel revving. Um. Anyways, that is the rest of the sniper. Uh, well. Well, we're going to have more combos if we can. Uh, that's like basically all of them that I can come up with right now. So, see you guys later. Bye.